With this episode of Kamisama, I now remember why I love this series so much. Those adorable moments, the atmosphere and mood in some of these scenes when it comes to Kamisama, they're still there. I, I love it so much how the studio that is doing season 2 of Kamisama is still keeping to that traditional atmosphere that season 1 had. Like, oh my god. This episode was just outright adorable. Like a very adorable, sweet, and relaxing episode of Kamisama. That's exactly what summarizes this episode because seeing the ending conclusion with Nanami finding out what she really excels at, what she's good at as a god, that's right there, just man. That development and overall the just the the mood in that scene. I just I loved it. I fucking loved it. And this is why I love Kamisama because of those type of scenes. I was like, man I love the romance, I love the romance in this series, and definitely this is probably going to be the best romance of this season, but I love the atmosphere in certain scenes when it comes to this series. Like, I mean, that one scene when she's by herself walking through the temple by herself, you see the darkness surrounding her and stuff like that, you see how lonely she is, and then all of a sudden you see how this butterfly comes down and helps her and leads her to the way to where she needs to go, that scene, beautiful. Now, before I begin talking about other things, I actually want to talk about what that butterfly or that person actually was. Judging by the shape of that person, I'm going to assume, I'm assuming it's me theory crafting. I'm an anime only, by the way. I'm assuming that that person was the original Mikage. I I'm willing to bet it was because, I mean, the overall shape and the head design just seems exactly similar to the dude that gave, you know, Nanami her god status and so that's exactly what i think is going on there i think that person since he technically said he wasn't attending to the god banquet or whatever i'm guessing that was the previous god you know before nanami took his spot i really have to say this episode has multiple layers of different development going on here for one thing tomoe oh my oh my that romance development the straight up romance development of tomoe and freaking nanami like dude Tomoe was in class, sitting in the freaking like, classroom, you know, as Nanami, trying to fake as her, and Tomoe is actually thinking in his mind about, oh, when she actually, you know, did that, you know, embarrassing thing with me the other day, like, when she confessed to me. I mean, like, holy shit, he, he actually starting to grow some actual romantic emotions towards Nanami. And to see that, I'm like, fuck yes, yes! I love how Tomoe and Nanami's actual romance is progressing in this season. I fucking love that. So, that's just one thing I wanted to point out. Getting to see that in this episode, I was like, yeah! So, what is the main thing with this episode? Honestly, I'm quite shocked with the pacing of this episode, which actually is a good thing because the pacing of this episode was a lot slower than I expected. And like I said, that is a very damn good thing because I expected Nanami to actually already make it to the banquet and already have a party in this episode. But, in this episode, she makes it to the door, the door opens up, and pretty much the episode ends. So, the pacing of this episode was a lot slower than I thought, which is good because it actually developed the characters, uh, actually raised the emotions, what Nanami should probably expect next episode. And at the exact same time, it lays down the foundation for more romance romance progression between Tomoe and Nanami because in this episode you have it to where Nanami actually comes in contact with these fallen gods pretty much and these fallen gods start you know bad mouthing Tomoe putting him down calling him shit pretty much and she states that she couldn't bring him with her because she can deal with someone making fun of her. She can deal with that. But she can't deal when someone makes fun of Tomoe in front of her. So she would not be able to keep her composure if she was to actually have Tomoe with her when she went to the banquet if someone wanted to make fun of him. So pretty much with this episode, we see how much Nanami once again respects Tomoe and how Tomoe technically respects her. He technically didn't even want to go to the banquet, actually. Tomoe didn't. But he really wanted to go to actually help out Nanami because he knew for a fact Nanami would probably get picked on since she is a human god, which in turn at the end of this episode, Nanami has new determination to realize it doesn't matter if she's human or not, she has something different than the other gods, and that is actually a good thing. So, the episode overall, when it came to the progression, the setups, and the development with the romance, it was a damn good episode, it really was. We also find out that Mamoru actually has a human form, he could transform into a little elementary school student pretty much and I was shocked by the voice actor the voice actor of Mamoru is Onoda from Yo Mushi Pedal I'm like what the fuck like I did not expect that voice actor at all when I saw Mamoru talk I'm like Onoda that's freaking Onoda just put some glasses on him and that is Onoda that is straight up Onoda I'm like dude like holy hell so 
episode. I had a lot of fun. Another relaxing and wonderful episode of Kamisama. It definitely makes Monday so much better because I look forward to this series every single Monday. I mean, we have a lack of romance this season. We really do. If we think about it, usually we have like two or three romances a season, but I personally believe Kamisama is like the only romance that came out this season if we, you know, throw out Shigasu technically. So... Kind of sad. It really is. The lack of romance this season is quite disturbing. So anyways, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. Do you feel like Nanami is going to develop from this? How do you feel about that war god at the end of this? Do you feel like that person that was the butterfly was the previous land god? Let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe and chibi out.